Thank you so much. And you're in town. You're almost home, right? We are. We're just over the mountain. Uh, we're based out of Harrisonburg, so yeah, we're just around the corner. Yeah, and in town for a show tonight. You want to tell us about it? Yeah, that's right. We're at uh, the Southern, and um, yeah, it's going to be a great time tonight. Uh, it's sold out, so we, we are very thrilled about that. I checked on your website, and it said you're sold out, but they may release a few tickets a handful a handful of tickets. A, a handful you know so you know you better act fast if you want to get down there yeah that's right so and you were at ashland coffee yesterday yep and uh, you got some shows coming up in um stanton and where else purple fiddle coming up Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to be, uh, we're, we're doing like four New Year's shows. Um, we're going to be at uh, Mockingbird uh, for their New Year's, technically the, the 28th and 29th, and then, and then we're going to be at the Purple Fiddle in West Virginia 
on the 30th and 31st. So we're, we're really excited. And if you don't know about the Purple Fiddle in Thomas, West Virginia, it's really worth looking up. It's this, uh, Thomas is a very almost not town, um, very, very small town in West Virginia. And they've got this amazing quirky little spot called the Purple Fiddle. And it's quite, quite a fun time on New Year's. So we're really looking forward to that. Isn't it like a, a ski town? Yeah, right. It's right around the corner from uh, Canaan Resort, and so there's yeah, there's plenty of skiing just down the road. There's a lot of folks that come from the resort. Um, the town itself is is a I don't know what ran that town. Is that an old mining town once upon a time? But it's it's a there's there's kind of a one. It's almost a one street town, and uh, and that's that's where the Purple Fiddle is on the one street. All right. Well, um, you're in the in the midst of a tour right now, the Magnetic Revival Tour, is it? Yeah, that's right. And uh, tell us about the the title of the tour and, and what it's all about. Sure. Uh, well, the tour took us through the whole fall here, and um, so it was in the lead up to the election, and we were thinking about, you know, what are we going to be doing out there on the road, playing our songs for people in a um, a season of a lot of yelling <laughs> and not a lot of listening. Um, we're asking people to listen to our music, and and so um, where do we fit into the whole um, the whole thing? And so we we decided that um, instead of getting up and spouting our politics, which we have our own views on things, but uh, we would try to really bring it together and and hopefully provide a space where we weren't going to. We were going to fight, and we were going to scream and yell and ostracize and focus on the differences, uh, because there's a lot of corporations and a lot of places out there that are sort of um, making their entire business model off of making us all feel like we're a lot more different than each other, and uh, and so instead we were trying to bring songs and stories that bring people together and hopefully focus on the ways that we're all a lot the same, and so that's the magnetic revival piece. Um, another part of it that we wanted to do and we did in each little dot on the map that we played was we wanted to give back a little bit um, and so we decided as a band that each night we would give a little bit of the money we made towards a local elementary school uh, music program and we figured that's I mean maybe that's a political move but if you can't invest in the creativity of the kids um, then we're in a sad sad place and I think unfortunately that is the case a lot of the time uh, so that's that's another piece of it that's happening tonight. Um, part of the proceeds that we make tonight, uh, each person that comes in the door will go towards a local elementary school program. And I believe we said it was Clark Elementary here in, in the city of, of Charlottesville. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, Clark Elementary School will be uh, getting a bit of money from your show tonight and also um, are people who are coming to the show are, are they able to kick some some in themselves? Absolutely, we have a we have sort of a top hat <laughs> that sits next to our merch table and encourages anybody um, and everybody to give anything extra they want to. So just by being there, they're already contributing. But um, that's been a really neat thing to see how the communities when you can sort of provide the opportunity to give. Oftentimes, people will throw throw some extra in, and that's you know that's what we find so often on the road. That's so so great about meeting people and playing music is that there are so many great people out there and people who if they're given the opportunity they really do um, some great things so it's been neat to see the generosity of people all right well um, there's a bunch more I want to ask you but I yeah. also want to hear you play so yeah how about another tune all right let's do this one uh, this is off our latest album it's a song called halfway to heaven Oh, 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 
have here. We've got halfway to heaven. And uh, the Steel Wheels are playing at the Southern in Charlottesville this evening. What time does the show start? I believe it starts at 8. If not, it's 8.30. Somewhere around there. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I know Tara Mills and Yankee Dixie are, uh, are opening the show, and uh, we're excited to see them play as well. And, and uh, we're just pumped. It's going to be a real full house, and we always love playing there. So, uh, so yeah, check it out. Like, like you said before, there's a few tickets left, uh, depending on how big the hand is. A handful of tickets, they tell us. So. All right. Um, one thing that you told me um, prior to the show starting was about your festival that oh, you're yeah. starting up. So tell us about this festival. Cause I'm yeah. Excited about it. Yeah, we've got a, um, an opportunity. It's going to be our first annual festival that's going to be called the Red Wing Roots Music Festival. And it's going to take place July 12th, 13th, and 14th in Augusta County um, at the Natural Chimneys Regional Park. And that's a, a beautiful, beautiful park situated kind of right in between Harrisonburg and Stanton, more or less. And uh, it's just a beautiful area. They'll be camping. There'll be uh, obviously lots of music. There'll be some cycling. Um, there'll be uh, places and, and activities for kids. It's it's we're really excited about it. We're about to um, launch the website and we're about to announce the lineup. It should be coming up in the next month that all that information comes out. Yeah, I've been to that that place and and there's quite a big campground there, isn't there? Yeah, so, so yeah. There's, there's plenty of room for people to camp and. Yeah, we, we just hope, I mean, we've, we've spent so much time traveling the last few years, uh, but we, the first three or four years of this band, we spent so much time in the valley, and we just really wanted to make this, this time where we could just have a great, family-friendly, fun time with wonderful music um, right here. And we really want to make this, uh, you know, something that we, everybody looks forward to, just, just hanging out and have a great time camp um, and en enjoy yourselves in a, in a wonderful environment. All right. Um, so I, I know that you can't tell us any of the bands or, or acts that are booked, but can you give me an idea of the, the kind of music that would be there? Bluegrass, old time, Cajun? Yeah, well, I think, um, I mean, one of the things that we, we often get, get told at our shows from people who see us for the first time, um, I don't really like bluegrass, but I like you guys, and um, and that's that's not a cut on bluegrass. We 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 see it as a big compliment, and we feel like what we what we do is what we also want to bring to the festival. Um, people who do it better than us, and people who do it in different ways than us, but um, bring touches of old time and bluegrass and Cajun and blues and great singer songwriters. Um, th this is the music we love, and this is the music we, you know, we bring into what we do. And we want to bring to the valley some of the folks we've met out on the road that they may never have heard of. We also want to bring some of the acts that we really admire and that we look up to and who have influenced us. And so that's going to range, yeah, from, from all of those styles. This is a growing trend of, of bands having their own festivals, like the the Festi with the in, infamous String Dusters and Watermelon Park with with the bands up there. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Yeah, it's a, it's a great way. I think it's a great way to um, to kind of continue to build your own community and your own. Um, you just you have so much more control over the entire experience uh, than you do in a one night show and. Um, there have been so many great people who have been so great to us over the, the few years that we've been playing that um, we, we want to just be able to provide the best experience and just have a great time. We got to play the Festi this year. It is a wonderful festival. We were so inspired by what the String Dusters are doing and, and the festival they've created in, what, three years and, and the way they've built it is just really phenomenal. So, so yeah, it is very inspiring to see how other bands are doing that. and. Um, and we want to kind of bring our own sort of brand of, of music into the festival circuit as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I know you have to get going very, very soon. So how about one more song? Yeah, let's do it. Um, we're we're going to bring in a bit of that Cajun influence to this song. This is the, the first track of, uh, off our latest album. It's called Breaking Like the Sun. Don't sing a note 
the day.